Welcome to Mr. Math Academy. Grow your math brain. Hello friends, welcome back to Mr. Math Academy. So today in this video, we did a, uh, we'll solve one simple numerical which is related to the axial loaded member here. So now in this problem, what he has given, so we'll directly go to the numerical here. So what he has given in this problem is, so there is one, okay, like mild steel rod is given. So which is of diameter 20 mm and it is the length is 300 mm. Now, is enclosed centrally in a hollow copper tube. Means there is one more copper tube is there. So you can just see this is the outside one. It's a copper tube. So whose ho copper hollow copper tube is what? It is the some outside diameter will be there. Some inner diameter, uh, inside diameter will be there. Okay. Now the outside diameter of the co hollow copper tube is it's a 30 mm and the inter di internal diameter is 25 mm. Now in this copper tube. If suppose in this copper tube what we are doing here so we are just placing we are just placing a steel rod inside that hollow copper tube but the both the lengths are same so because he has given that the ends of the tube and the rod are braced together so what he has uh, given in the problem is there will be a hollow copper tube is there so the length will be common length will be same inside that copper tube i am inserting a that is a solid that is a steel rod here now after that both the ends are braced together so after bracing means after joining these two rods okay like a rod and the hollow copper tube what i am applying i am applying a axial pull of 50 kilo newton i am applying here okay then what will be the stresses induced in the steel rod as well as the copper rod i have to find out okay once if the material is different means obviously there will be a different Okay, there will be a different Young's modulus will be there. So he has given the Young's modulus of the steel is 200 gigapascal. Young's modulus of the copper is 100 gigapascal. Now let us will go for the how to solve this kind of problems. So when the problem is such kind, okay, this kind of problems how to solve means only thing is we have to remember two general equations because so one is what so the first equation is so once if both the ends are joined once if you apply either the tensile load or compressive load okay both this rod and this copper tube will be having the same amount of means they'll be the load which we are applying here they'll be sharing with each other so means what the total load what we are applying in the 50 kilo newton that must be equal to the load which is carried by this steel rod and the copper rod we have to add for example so if suppose this is a that is a copper that is a load in a copper tube that is a hollow copper tube plus load in the steel rod both the if we add here the total load must be there so means what both the copper rod and the steel rod will be having will share the total load here okay this is first very sim uh, okay conditions we have to remember the second thing is what so since both the ends are fixed here okay both the ends are joined together so means what when we pull this there will be a deformation in the both the material and both the deformations are same so second condition is so delta lc is equal to delta l steel means the change in length in the copper tube and the change in length in the solid that is the steel rod both are same so the if you just apply these two conditions we can able to we can able to calculate what will be the stresses in the both the steel rod and the copper tube okay let us consider the very first equation here so what will be the ps and P, uh, ps is equal to 50 kilo newton okay so this is what first condition i can take this is the first one i'll take equation one directly because we don't know what is the load in the copper rod and the load in the steel rod now second thing is what i'll go for the delta lc is equal to delta ls that is the change in length in the copper tube is equal to change in length in the steel rod so this is equal to what pl by ae formula so since it is a copper i'll take cc here so here also pl by ae since it is a seal i represent with the steel s value s now both are having the same length i'll try to cancel this two that is lc is equal to ls now the remaining terms are pc will be remains as it is here okay so this is pc that is unknown here by so area of the copper 
so area of the copper base so since the copper is a hollow object this is the outer diameter and this is the inner diameter the area for the hollow object is pi by 4 into outer diameter square minus inner diameter square means pi by 4 so outer diameter is 30 square 30 inner diameter is 25 so square this will be the area for the copper tube here okay now Young's modulus of the copper so for the copper 100 giga pascal is there I will try to take okay, directly I will represent with the even if I represent in terms of Newton per mm square that is in terms of mega pascal or giga pascal at the end I am going to get the same equation here means same value I, I can get here okay better I can take here 10 power 3 because I have taken in terms of the mega pascal even I can take 100 only because at the end what I am getting the PC or PS it will be in terms of kilo Newton if suppose if I substitute 10 power 3 I can get in terms of Newton okay let it be that is equal to so PS is unknown I will so keep as it is so area of the steel means it is a rod here there is no need to take like this outer diameter or inner diameter directly it is a pi d square by 4 it is a pi by 4 diameter here it is a 20 because the diameter of the steel rod is it is a 20 that is why pi d square by 4 into Young's modulus of the steel is 200 giga pascal I will just take 200 in terms of giga pascal only now if I just simplify this I can get the relation between the copper and the steel here so what I am getting here is PC is equal to some PS value so what I am getting here is so if you just cross multiply at the end PS is equal to it is a 2.909 so PC I am getting here you just simplify and take it to the left hand side and again if you just simplify the value what I am getting here is PS is equal to 2.909 PC okay now this is what one one relation okay now you just take if I take this is the equation 2 now from the equation 1 and 2 I can able to calculate any one value okay that is from equation 1 and 2 take this that is PC plus PS is equal to 50 kilo Newton now we know that PS is equal to 2.909 this PS is equal to 2.909 PC is equal to 50. So this is 3.909 PC is equal to 50. So you can cross multiply this 3 to the right hand side that is a 50 by 3.909. So you can get a value of PC in terms of kilo Newton that somewhere around 12 point we are getting here. So it is a 12.79. Okay, once if I calculate, once if I get the value of the PC, okay, you just substitute in any one of this equation here, means even you can substitute here itself in this equation. Therefore, PS is equal to, it is a 2.909 into 12.79. So, that is equal to PS is equal to, it is somewhere around 35, 36 of we are getting. So it's a 37.21 kilo Newton. So either you can take total it is a 50 means if you are getting the PC is 12.79 means I even if I take here also I can able to calculate what will be the okay like a PS value here. Okay. Now after getting the PC and PS that is a load in the okay steel and the copper tube, we can easily calculate what will be the stresses in the rod and the tube here. So simple formulas are there. So we know that sigma copper is equal to load by area. Okay. So since it is a copper, I will take PC AC. So load in the copper tube is we are getting 12.79. Now I will take 10 power 3 because I will write in terms of Newton per mm square to write. Okay. Now area of the copper it is a pi by 4 since it is a hollow object it is a outer diameter minus inner diameter we have to consider it is a 30 square minus 25 square so this will be the Newton per mm square so somewhere what I am getting the 
stress in the copper tube is 59.22 so this will be the stress what i am getting for in the copper rod again i can calculate the stress in the steel as ps by as so it's a ps is 37.21 kilo newton 37.21 into 10 power 3 divided by so it's a since it's a steel rod only diameter square we have to take it's a 10 square so for this we are getting the value of okay the stress in the steel member is around 118.44 newton per mm square so this is the these are the two stresses that is the stress in the copper member the, again the stress induced in the steel rod is around 59.22 in the copper tube and the 118 that is 118 118.44 megapascal in the steel rod okay i hope this is a sim very simple problem which is related to the axially loaded member here okay i hope you have understood this problem please if you have understood and if you like this video comment your comment share with your friends kindly okay unsubscribe our channel Thank you.